Hi, Hillary. Hi. It is Hunger Games night and I'm excited. Oh yeah, that's right. Midnight yeah. showing. I'm seeing it midnight and Woo. it's beautiful outside and we are just enjoying the weather and taking a walk. Yes. And Emily and Ben are here too. Okay. Say hello. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful today. Okay, Hillary. Take two. We tried this before. So, you've never read the Hunger Games books, but you've seen the trailer, right? Yes, I have. Okay, so how do you think... How do you think the movie ends? I think a lot of people are gonna die. Yes! <laughs> but, I, uh, but I think the uh, main girl is gonna live. Okay. And... Um, well, what do you think the story's about for the trailer? From the trailer, looks like, um, it's sort of like, well, I've heard about it. It's like a post-apocalyptic, impoverished town mm -hmm. kind of thing. Uh -huh. And they have to repay, or like, repent for what they've done in the past. So what we're walking to over there, I call it Rape Trail because at nighttime, it's just kind of like this secluded trail. Um, I don't know its real name anymore. What is it? The Thompson uh, Trail? Yeah, Thompson Trail, I think. But it's a lot more fun calling it that. Hey, look, we're on the rape path. <laughs> Emily, are you wearing your braid today Whoa! because it's Hunger Games Day? Yeah. You're what today? Look, you're like Katniss and everything. Yeah. So this area behind Hillary reminds me of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because it looks like the part where on the burrows under attack, which by the way never happened in the books, where Ginny and Harry are fighting off Bellatrix and, oh god help me, who's the wolf guy? The wolf guy? Emily, who's the wolf guy in Harry Potter? Emily, oh. get in my shoes. Oh! Oh gosh! Wolf gang. Wolf gang? No, he didn't. Oh god, we're horrible. We're Lupin. No, wasn't that Lupin? No, the real one. It's like a gray beard. Gray back. Gray back. Gray back. Look, he's out there. Ooh. Look, we're still walking to dinner. We had to walk through a hallway. I feel intrusive doing this because you're like walking to the cafeteria through someone's like living hallway. You know, kind of sketchy. Hey, gotta go. Class. I go to Hunger Games after. I tell you all about it. Look, Pamela's wearing the Hunger Games T-shirt. Look at it. Okay, I'll have to tell you all about it. Say bye. Bye. Bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> All right, it's almost time. I'm here with my friend Meg. We're waiting in line. It's a pretty long one, but not as bad as Harry Potter, I'd say. Not nearly as big as Harry Potter. No, no, no. So we're at our 1203 showing. Like, they're really going to show the movie three minutes later. That's just some way to work their computers or whatever. But we're excited, so we'll get our reactions. Randomly put you in the theater. Yeah, they don't care. We'll give you our reactions after we see the movie. Finally going into the theater. Woo! And there is Effie Trinket. I don't know what she's doing, but I know it's Effie because I don't know who else that would be. Well, we just finished. We just finished watching the Hunger Games for the first time ever. It was really good. Very exciting, and this is the big crowd coming out of the theaters. All right, three words: seated expectations. Woo! 